Some of you have looked at our Coffee 101 section and we talk about how when you rip apart a coffee cherry, the flesh of it, there's a pit in the middle. That pit has two halves. Uh, with pea berry, it's just one. There's one, one pit in there. And uh, many people uh, disagree about what that is. Some people say it's a genetic mutation uh, that happens with all plants. It's about 3% of every crop is pea berry. Uh, other people say it's a boric acid in the soil. Some people say it's uh, uh, the, the cherries don't get enough water on certain limbs. So, the bottom line is, it's really, really sweet. And when you can find a good pea berry, it's outstanding. Oftentimes, they can be one-dimensional and sort of boring. So we had to look long and hard, but we found one that we think is the best in the world. And it's this Tanzanian pea berry from the Ravuma district, which is south Tanzania, near Lake Malawi. Uh, what's really exciting about this coffee is the, the multi-dimensional character that it has. We roasted it kind of a medium to medium light, and when you do it that way, you get a really crisp, citrusy, almost peachy brightness. But then it's followed by a milk chocolate undertone and this really interesting tobacco notes. And that was a surprise to us. It really had that tobacco tone and then a little bit of molasses in the sweetness and the finish. Uh, so this is a really nice coffee and I recommend it to anyone, especially if you're a pea berry lover.